Hello, it's me, Nelka again, and uh, I'm here to answer one of the questions of our friend. This is from Prut V. Raj. Okay. I think he or she, yeah, whatever. Raj, I will call you Raj to make my life easier because Prut, Prut V. Yes, yeah, okay. Raj. So, Raj. I received your email. Thank you very much for that. So you have four questions. One is to, one is how to edit a room, how to change the working plane height, how to give the reflection factors for a room, and how to give the wall zone for a room. Okay, we will create a simple room and we will answer your questions one by one. Okay, I have here ready now the Dalax Evo and I will import now the CAD file which I'm always using for my presentation so the Dialux Evo tutorial okay it's loading now and we have to make sure that the scale is correct so for example this is the drawing and we will create a room for each of this room <laughs> okay so let's do it okay I need to create these rooms all these rooms because for every room you need to have a different working plane as I said before and because uh, you're asking about the working plane I need to okay, let's make it like this draw these rooms to satisfy all your questions why I keep on clicking on that? It's okay not to click on that. It's okay to make an er er error because I will show you how to edit the room. Okay, for example, I really made a mistake. So that's it. So your first question is how to edit a room. Okay, Raj, look at here. You should be on this. I put I I press the escape escape tab. So you should be here on the third tab and then click the line of the room like this. So you have to just be patient to click the right room like this, like this. So make sure that you are in the story and your tab is here on the third part and then click the room. Okay, for example, this is wrong. So you need to adjust it a little. Alright, this one also is wrong, so you need to adjust it like that. And then, because it's not triangle, as you can see, you need to add point. Then, you need to add point here. Also here, you need to adjust, right click, and then add point. Then right click again, and add another point. Make sure it's aligned and correct. Okay, now let's see if it's correct. I think the scale is correct now. So here you go. So now, um, for example, there's another room that is not properly aligned. Okay, so I don't know which one is the wall thickness. Anyway, so you can adjust it like that by clicking and then adjusting it. Alright, so for example, this one is not on the corner. Just remove it from that side and then align it. Okay. So I think this is fine. Next, what is your next question? How to change the working plane height? Oh, this is a nice and smart question because I asked myself that one also before. And then by surfing and uh, searching this uh, software, then I found it. Now, you need to go to this um, assessment zone, okay? You need to go to the assessment zone, this tab. It's one, two, three, four, five. It's on the fifth tab on your left side. And then you need to click one room. Okay. If it becomes blue, or should I say purple, you need to click that. It means it is selected. If it's green, it's not selected. So like that. Okay. So for example, I will select this one. This is a living room. So the living room height plane should be should be zero. Okay? So this one should be zero. 
but in EVO there's another option called this active utilization profile which is you can select for example uh, if it's a residential then you need to check all the residential um, zone because if you click for example rest or sanitation it will give you different options here and different requirements according to maybe uh, SIBSE or IS9 it depends so for example this since this is a residential so you need to go to station okay let's go for the general areas inside the building and you can say month means there's a human inside <laughs> okay so you can edit this one oh so it's already zero and then zero okay you can change the light loss factor and or maintenance factor into yeah the default one is point eight you can change it into point six point seven or one if you like so i would uh, not change it i will make it still point eight okay so that's it you can also edit it here for example you want to uh, to make it um, say the requirement is not 150 as per your own requirements and you wanted to make it 200 and then you can have it 200 and then the, if for example the uniformity requirement is not 0.4 but 0.5 you can also change it UGR 22 you can also change so whatever you want and then if, if, if you like also you can reset it to, to the original one so whatever you like and that's it you can name it also as for example this working plane is the living room aside from the room naming you can also label that working plane as whatever you like like living room okay and then for example I have here the toilet for example I will select the toilet then this toilet should be in the rest sanitation and first aid room and then you can select it here rest room okay of course the restroom should have in our office we use restroom as zero the working plane is zero so you can make it zero or point it if you like so I made it zero so you can see here that once I change it for example point eight you can see that it's up and then if I made it zero, you can see it's go down because it's in the zero level. Okay, I hope you, s you saw that one. Okay, so what else? If, for example, you like to, you, you want to make it at the wall, uh, the, the wall zone is 0.5, so the uniformity is much better, then you can make it 0.5 or 0.3 or 0.1. Or usually in the regular dialogues, it's a 0.5, but for me, I, I keep on it zero but if it's a huge space and there's so many corners then i put 0.5 that's a cheat okay garage okay let's label the garage as um, storeroom or cold store so let's say store or stock room if there if you can find garage then you can change it and then you can change the working plane as 0.8 you can see once you change it see again 0.8 it's up and then point a zero it's down now that is how you can change the working plan all right so next your question is how to give the reflection factors for a room now for example the wall is um, usually it's 50 percent the ceiling is let's say 70 or 80 percent and the floor is 20 or 30 percent so it depends on you so how are you going to change that one is by okay so we move to the third tab again and room you can select any room you like here okay let's for example the room number 12 okay so we will change the uh, reflectance factors for this room you need to go to the room because there are so th there are different levels okay the side the building the story and then the room so now we are in the room for every room you can change the reflectance factor I am not sure if you can change the reflectance factor for all the rooms in one shot no but because it's much easier so you need go to this 
tab and then click this change reflectance of room surfaces so you can change this by maybe if you like to make the ceilings as 80 oops sorry and then this one the wall is mm, let's say um, same color 80 also and the floor is a dark carpet so let's make it 10 so you can just apply it and you can see the difference immediately once you do it okay again let's go for example room number 13 so you need to change the reflex reflectance factor for this one so just click click this tab and change whatever reflectance factor you required for this one and then say apply and then you can see it now and in the documentation you can see it there for example room number 12 you can see that the reflectance factor is 80 80 and 10 like what I used I would like like what I did and for the other one is changed into 80 40 30 and then there so you can change whatever you like for this one and you can also see that the um, working plane change change according to what I did before so for example in the garage the working plane is 0 here and then for this room number 13 is still 0.8 so you can see it there okay how to give uh, your question number 3 is how to give the reflection factors oh shit, sorry so let me finish ah yes we're almost done so number 4 is how to give the wall zone for a room okay it means the offset from the wall the calculation point like for example this one I will say oops I will say one meter um, okay in the, in the, the dialogues regular the default is 0.5 and for this one it's zero so it depends on how you will do it so if you like 0.5 then you can say 0.5 and to make that the work plane at zero then it's zero my question is this one actually this um, small rectangle in the middle with the dot why I it's there why it's there I'm not sure why it's there okay but if we go back to this is room number 13 no? if we go to the documentation room number 13 oh see I changed the wall zone into 0.5 that's why it's like this see the purple line it's 0.5 offsetting from the wall so it's like the wall zone is 0.5 from the wall what is that small oh okay maybe just maybe it's in the calculation point oh no but I did not create any calculation point because you can also create your own calculation object here for example like this this is another calculation or maybe let's delete this one why there's the default calculation on that one <laughs> anyways let's go back to this calculation and you cannot select it if I unchecked of course you cannot have a calculation okay anyways whatever is that in the middle I don't know <laughs> I need to check I just found it just right now alright so I think I click something but anyways it's not important because you cannot see it in the documentation or maybe you can see it there if you edit it I'm coming here anyways okay so I think Raj I think I answered some of your questions and because of you I also have some doubts and I need to check that one also so that is for now. Thank you very much and keep watching my YouTube channel and please subscribe. Bye.